All right, so realistically, your test may not be quite as simple and straightforward as the example we just walked through. Uh, in many cases, you have tests that include a number of different criteria and a number of different potential values. Uh, when that's the case, you're going to want to use nested if statements. Uh, the good news is that Excel makes it really easy to do this. Um, you can include multiple logical tests within a single formula. And if you know the if formula syntax, then you know how to use nested if statements. So let's look at an example before we dive into Excel. Basically, we have another logical test here based on the temperature field in column B. But instead of just saying, is the temperature less than 32, yes or no, we're asking two questions. We're saying, is it less than 40? If not, let's see if it's greater than 80. If not, you know, return this otherwise value of false error. So in this case, we have three potential uh, results as opposed to two in our first instance. So basically, the syntax should look familiar. You start with your logical test. B2 is less than 40. Your value if true. So in this case, if your test is true, if your temperature is less than 40, climate equals cold. Now here's the catch. When you get to the value if false piece, here's where you start your next if test. Um, and basically what that does is it tells Excel, all right, logically work your way from left to right through this formula and continue until you either find a test that evaluates as true or you get to the end where your value if false uh, value lives. Um, so in this case, it's saying, all right, is B2 less than 40? Yes or no. Uh, if it is, we're going to call it cold and stop there. If it's not, we're going to move to our next test, which is, is our temperature greater than 80? Yes or no. If it is, call climate hot and stop there. Otherwise, move on. And in this case, you know, if you get to the end, if you have a temperature between 40 and 80, like 55, for instance, both of these are going to evaluate false and your cell is going to return the value of false error or the value of false value of mild. So let's dive into Excel and get our hands dirty. Uh, we're going to be working with column J, the climate column. And basically I want to do exactly what I just described. So I want to create a nested if statement um, to categorize climate as cold if the temperature is less than 40, as hot if the temperature is greater than 80, and mild otherwise. So I'll start with my equal sign. If, open the parenthesis, logical test, just like before, G2 is less than 40, value of true is going to be cold. Now, value of false, rather than just saying hot or other here, I'm going to start another if statement. If the temperature is greater than 80, value of true, hot, in quotes because it's a text string that I want to return. And then I get to my final value of false. So if I'm done incorporating all of my tests here, and I'm ready to kind of populate my catch-all value of false message or value, um, I'm just going to enter that here. So it's going to be mild. And now here's a really important note. When I add the next parenthesis, you'll see that it's orange and it matches with the orange parenthesis, which is part of my second if statement. What that's telling me is that I'm not done with this formula. I haven't closed out all of my parentheses. So when I add the second, you'll see that it will be bold and black and it matches with the first parenthesis at the beginning of my formula, which tells me that I'm done and I can press enter. Um, so again, I'm going to leave the references relative so that when I populate this formula down, my references will change from row to row. So let's see if this worked. Um, I've got a bunch of cold values. Temp is below 40 in all of those instances. Here's a mild value, 43. That's correct. Um, you can see that this is ordered by month, where 1 is January. Uh, so I may have to scroll a bit before I start getting into the uh, hot values. So here's one in August, 85 degrees equals hot, 75 is mild. So it looks like it's working properly. Um, there you go, basic example of using a nested if statement to add a second criteria to my test.